Hello, everybody, and welcome to another day here at Airgun Expo 2022. How you doing, Angie? Doing well. You getting enough rest? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have got a great day of shooting. Weather looks a little iffy tomorrow, so we took all of the pre-recorded videos we're going to kind of intersperse today. We moved those to tomorrow, so tomorrow we're going to have a lot of premiere videos coming out as far as on YouTube. Today we're going to do a ton of live range stuff because the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. We've got Gateway to Air Guns is the major promoter for this event. We also have Air Gun Pro Shop. Tyler's in the house. Hey, Tyler. Hey, how's it going? <gasps> That's him. Excited. He's getting more excited <laughs> as we go. It's impressive. Um, Heidi, if you're watching, we're getting smiles and enthusiasm out of him. It's pretty cool. We've got Air Gun Pro Shop. We've got all of these guys here have come together to make this happen. This video is specifically on the Air Venturi uh, Seneca Dragon, Dragonfly. Yep, Dragonfly right? Mark II. Whew, Dragonfly with the butterfly system. I get those kind of <laughs> mixed too. up. I yes. call it the butterfly, it's not. I call the, the cocking system the Dragonfly, no. It's the Dragonfly Mark II with the butterfly. We're gonna get into that because it's important <laughs> why this gun even exists uh, from a historic perspective. This is an old air gunner talk speak now, um, but it's also- And I'm not old, so I won't be included. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm gonna include you, drag you, kicking and screaming, dragging you into the old air gunner club. But it did, but it does have a good bit of relevance because you just did a great article mm -hmm. for Women's Outdoor News on this gun. Tell me what you were doing with this. I went squirrel hunting with it. Okay. And at first I was like, it's a pump gun. It's not one I would normally, yeah, let's go take squirrels because I like having that quick follow-up shot, but it was very successful. I was extremely impressed with it. All in all, I mean, this really probably was outside your wheelhouse because she, you did a video for grip on this? Yep. Okay, so we got a grip review at GTA on with this. With the 177. With the 177. You're shooting the 22 here. Yep. Okay, um, not your wheelhouse. No, not really. And, and what did you think of the gun in general? I mean, what? tell me, if you looked at this, before you touched it, what did you think? And then when you grab it and then you actually start working with it. Wow. Well, my previous experience with pump guns, there's by the time you pump it up enough to take a shot, you're like, <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> trying to get steady. This one is not difficult at all to pump. It's each pump is pretty much the same. You don't start out easy and then end up, Ugh! It's, it's pretty much every pump is the same, which makes it so much more of a pleasure to shoot. Yeah. And the accuracy, wow, impressive, very impressive, even at longer distances. Is you, were, you shot yours at 50 yards. Mm -hmm. And I, when she told me she was shooting hers at 50 yards, I'm like, because this is my 22, I'm like, 50 yards. With I, a scope on it now. It, yeah. it did have a scope. I'm thinking, 50 yards, I don't know, man, that's a stretch. But nah, she shot it at 50 yards did really well. So no, 15 pumps at 50 yards. Yeah. I, would, I would definitely go max pumps at yeah. that distance. Today, and... and Okay, so talk about the pumps for a minute. You can have as little as three right. and as many as 15. I usually stop between 10 or 12 uh, because when I did my test on this, I have a video on Airgun Web for this too. When you start looking, as once you get past like 10, it's really diminishing returns. That You can take it to 15 to get a little bit more, but it's just a little bit more. I didn't see a huge difference when I went beyond the 10. I liked it a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, fine. You guys can check out my grip review to see, because I did test you it did. at three, six, nine, 12. I'm counting right, right? Yeah, and 15 pumps. <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> Velocity, accuracy. Everything. It was exhaustive. It was an exhaustive, you gotta check it out. If you wanna know all the nitty gritty, you gotta check that out for sure. Um, it's not, uh, it's actually on, it's maybe on my YouTube channel. It's definitely on the Gateway to Air Guns YouTube channel. So check it out. It's also on the grip section, the grip gate in, on GTA. Gateway Air Guns. Yeah, Gateway Air Guns. So absolutely check it out. Um, do you want to shoot first and kind of walk folks through the mechanics of the gun and the butterfly system and all that? Or you want me to do it? Would you like me to shoot it first? I, I doesn't matter to me. Um, I mean, I, it's sure. up to you. You okay. shoot it first? Yep. Okay. Now we're going to be shooting today um, at 25 yards. We are shooting open sights. Um, Angie was trying to kind of bait me into a competition, <laughs> and we might we may need to do it um, only because she's not hitting it the target real well at 50 yards at, with my gun. So I'm thinking. She thinks so. I, I have hit it. She could have. She could practicing. be sandbagging because she's <laughs> she had a loss yesterday. She's she's suffering bad, <laughs> reeling from the loss of yesterday. So she may be looking to just say. I want to put a nail in Rick's coffin here and just uh, whip his butt 
on another. Uh, it could be the way it's just the way she is. So, walk us through the mechanics, and okay. then let's let's shoot at the paper targets first. So before you pump, be sure to cock it. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. And and load your mag. The mag's cool. It's magnetic, so it goes in and it stays in. We have a question. Okay. Ten or fifteen pumps makes a difference with pellet weight. Well, any pellet weight is going to going to make a difference. So if you have a heavier pellet and you want to have max power, I would go to 15 pumps. We're shooting 15, eight, nines right now. They happen to be uh, H&N pellets. I know Joe is walking away in disgust at the moment. <laughs> but in, in Angie's test, these did pretty good. So that's what we're running eight today, the H&Ns, the 15, eight, nines. Um, I, 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 I got to watch out of the corner of my eye, Joe over here. So I, fortunately, he's a good sport. Jay, we love you. Thank you for your support. Hey, oh, yeah, I need to dent those <laughs> yeah, all the Rick's pellets get a big hammer dent in the middle. Um, so we're the 1589s, if you went to 1813s and you wanted to make sure you got the most out of them, then yeah, probably. Um, it all depends if you're shooting based on feet per second or, or um, energy. So it's usually about the same energy, depend, regardless what weight you run. But if you want max velocity, you're shooting lighter pellets, you may find that you don't need to go to the 15 because they're already out the barrel. You're just wasting air and energy. So you probably need to do your own testing with a chronograph to know for sure. Yeah, or just go check out the grip review. Or check out the grip review. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so gun is cocked and of course safety's on. Now I pump it different. Most people like pump it like, like this, but my arm's short. So for me, it's easier to pump it like this. One of the things she mentioned I didn't know you could do is you don't have to close it all the way down to get a full stroke, which is very cool. Ten pumps. And you do not want to get your finger in the way if it does close, because it's an owie. I, I've done that. <laughs> it does hurt. Don't do that. All right. You are shooting. Let's shoot. Have you shoot the left target, left bull? You should have that on the screen. Okay. Because then I'll shoot. I'll try it on the right bull. Okay. would be a dead squirrel <laughs> yes so do you remember what energy you were getting now you had the 177 right yep i okay. haven't done tests with the 22 yet okay i think we're getting about 17 18 foot pounds in that range which is a good bit of a good bit of energy on a gun like this and i might be off on that number you can definitely check my review i just don't remember off the top of my head it's close <laughs> you enjoy shooting. I love it. You do you do enjoy shooting, don't you? I do. She gets a smile on her face. She really enjoys it. Only when I shoot well. As many as you want to take. I mean, you want to stop there and take three shots. I'll take three shots because it's was that three sort of repetitive okay. at that point. Yep. How many shots in the mag? Seven. Yeah. Seven shots. Okay. Okay. So I guess my turn. Now, can I start making excuses now, or do I need to wait till later? I think you'll do fine. Because oh my... except I didn't pump it for you. Gosh. It would have been nice if I pumped it for you, huh? No, no, that's fine. It's just that. Uh, I really don't see well. <laughs> Excuse number one. <laughs> All right. Same basic area, isn't it? Is this a Redsies? No. <laughs> groups, Angie. We're oh. shooting for groups. <laughs> I want you to know I did not choose the pellets, Joe. I just want you to know that. You, Thank you. Thank you. Are, you are the boss man, Rick, so. I could have grabbed the other pellets. Shoo, Shangie. <laughs> Trying to make more excuses here. Oh, 
Oh. Did that, on, did that go through the same way? I don't know. I can't yeah. see. I, I can't see. Come on, Rick. <laughs> Come on, Rick. <laughs> don't let that girl beat you. Again. Again. Eight. 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 <sighs> okay, breathe, Rick. One breath, that's it. That's all I get is one breath? Yep. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty close. That is. I think Joe, we're going to let Joe bring that target back to us. We'll take a look at the results. And then did you want to try the 50 yarder? Let's yeah. switch it back to camera one, Sue. I think we should. You try a 50 Just yard. 50 fun. yards is tough with open sights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have one like go really bad or something. Through the same hole. No. no, no, yeah. It was at the bottom, right? Yeah. It was at the bottom, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look my. at that. He had one oh, job. man. He had one job. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I thought it was a lot closer than that. No, no, this was. Uh... All right, so there's Angie. <laughs> and there's Rick. <laughs> Sorry, Angie. I really do love you more. Uh, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I look. This is. Uh, Go team Angie. Yeah, there. That's awesome. Right up top. I like it. I like it. We just renamed the whole forum. We don't even need a vote. We just. <laughs> we just. We just instantly, GTA is the uh, Go team Angie. That's awesome. We can just rename it. We'll just make it all pink. Guys, old timers there at GTA, don't worry about it. <laughs> so you you want to do like maybe two shots or three shots on the 50 order? Um, let's do two. Do two shots? Do you want to go first or want me to go first? You go first. Hey, I man, went first last time. Too, yeah, I'm pretty sure there were some <laughs> shenanigans. I'm gonna let I'm gonna shoot first, then I'm gonna let Rick go. <laughs> That's Should a, we tell them how you load the mag? Because it is a little different than... You know, that's probably not a bad idea. If you can see it here. Um, can you do camera two? I'm on camera two. That one? So when you load the mag, you load the first one, uh, skirt first from the back. And that sets the, the little wheel inside. And then you, you use the front cover to go and then fill from the rest, the rest of the way. There's, a, there's a, a lot of mags these days that load that way. But it is a little different if you're used to like a crossman or one of these others that loads from the front. Yeah, I had to look at the manual. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 50 yards. We're going to need to move the target. So this is on safe. Let me set the uh, camera. Maybe move the camera. Excuse me. Okay. Wow, that is small. I can see it. Yes, Joe. <laughs> Boy, I was going to go a place, man. Uh, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Same scoring system. Okay. Two shots, right, Angie, that we're doing? Yep, there's already two hits on the bottom left yep. quadrant. <sighs> bottom right. Okay, so that's, that's 50 yards, right? I mean, that is that's pretty good on a pump gun. Yeah, I, I probably got one up out there. Maybe a Sidewinder or something. <laughs> frontier. Put the Frontier 34 on. There you go. 
Bottom, bottom right. right. Oh, four I points. Have to hit both times. <laughs> I hit both times. <laughs> That's tough. I'm, I'm that, not joking. It is tough. Hey, Rick, where were you aiming? At that white target <laughs> down there. <laughs> There's a white target down there, Angie. Ten pumps? Yeah. Oh, a shoot off again? Oh, come on, Joe. Oh, I already lost. No, you didn't. No, no. All you got to do is clip. And I'm oh. pretty sure if we go down and look, my second shot clipped the center. Clip the center? Don't worry. What are you going to rewind? How are you going to rewind? Oh. The instant review. It looks like. It looks, yeah. No, maybe I hit now to the right of the bull. Oh! Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. All right, we're going to end this video right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Let's go to camera one, Sue, please. All right, so I said earlier in the beginning why this gun's important. You know, what, what it's important space in the industry. When I grew up as a youngster, my dad had a Benjamin Sheridan. Who, who remembers the Benjamin Sheridans, right? They are great, great guns. Well, that whole, I don't know, that whole class of air guns sort of went by the wayside. Um, there are some multi-pumps out there. There are companies that are trying to kind of do that, but they've done it with like plastic and they've done it with things that it just doesn't have the same, I don't know, it's just not the same. This gets very, very close. In fact, it does some things I think the Benjamin should have done back in the day. First of all, you can mount a scope to this very easily. We've got a dovetail. It is multi-shot because it has a magazine, which is also very cool. It also has a single shot tray if you want to do that. The other thing they do is if you want, it's already pretty quiet. I'm, I don't yeah. know that it's like super quiet, but if you want to throw an accessory on here to make it even quieter, it's got one half uh, UNF threads here on the muzzle. So it's very well built. The hardwood stock feels nice. It's substantial. It's a really nice gun. And it's a great throwback. Um, your squirrel hunt proved its effectiveness yep. without a doubt. Um, it's lightweight. You can carry it in the woods. It's not a big deal. Right. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just a really, really, really nice air gun. I don't remember the exact price point. It's a couple hundred bucks. bucks yeah. Yeah. 199 Yeah, it, it is. It is great. All you need is some elbow grease and some pellets. You have a lot of fun. Guys, that's going to be it. Angie, you got anything else other yeah, than... Yeah, if I put a $650 scope on this one, I probably would have won. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, Thanks. she mentioned it. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. That's why we have him around. Okay, <laughs> if you noticed, that doesn't look normal, <laughs> right? Safety eggs. That doesn't look normal. It's because the way the geometry is set with this, that's what gives you that ability. That's what gives you the ability to have the same cocking force for every stroke. Yep. So because of the way they've designed that, you know, take a Sheridan and get the pump eight. Good luck with that last mm -hmm. couple pumps. You're working hard. But here, I get it loosen up there. And you don't have to push it all the way in for each pump. Yep. Oh. Make sure your screws are tight. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to stop. <laughs> anyway, that's what that whole system allows you to do. It allows you to pump the gun with a lot less effort. So, yes, the Dragonfly with the Butterfly is pretty awesome. So I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Gateway to Air Guns, Air Gun Pro Shop, Pyramid Air, um, JSP Pellets. Thank you, buddy. Mm. <laughs> all of the guys that are making this happen. We're going to get reset for our next video. But uh, this was a lot of fun. Angie, I'm glad we tied. We tied on we one. Tied? Well, you won one, I won one. So that's oh, a tie. I, I just took it all as a loss because I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to go get reset. Stay with us. Again, a whole day of some cool air gun, uh, live air gun shoots out here tonight. Uh, excuse me. 
a cool day of, of air gun shoots out here today. So I hope you guys join us. Thanks for watching. See ya.